An arsonist has been busy in the Bosque. Authorities say a string of fires have been intentionally set from Los Ranchos all the way to Belen. News 13's Brittany Bade is here with what's now being done to catch the person responsible. Kim, as of right now, the state fire marshal's office is focusing on Valencia County, where they know at least 18 fires have been intentionally set in the Bosque. We've had fires in the Bosque on all four corners, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. We feel, looking at the evidence, that uh, these fires are most likely human-caused, and that's the direction the investigation is taking. In Valencia County, it is easy to see evidence of past fires with charred and downed trees all over the place. The state fire marshal tells us they do have people of interest, and they're working with the Valencia County District Attorney. The fires under investigation started back in March and to date have cost more than $75,000 to fight and are causing invaluable damage to animals that live in the Bosque. The fire marshal says several animals like porcupines who live in the trees have been hurt or killed in the fires. He also points out homeless people often set up camp in the Bosque. These fires are not believed to be caused by homeless camps, but they could put people who stay in the Bosque in grave danger. Right now, the state is facing severe drought conditions and people who live or work near the Bosque or even just enjoy spending time in it know how dangerous these fires are. We're in one of the worst droughts of history in New Mexico and right now any spark has set up this whole thing and burn it from Socorro to Albuquerque before anybody could even get it under control. As of now, Albuquerque Fire Rescue is not involved in the fire marshal's arson investigation, but said the state says there are similarities between the Valencia County fires and the Bosque fires that we have seen here in Albuquerque. Kim. OK, thanks, Brittany. Now, the state fire marshal's office is asking the public for any information. We have their contact information on our website, krqe.com.